folks welcome to my kitchen tonight i'm cooking again tonight similar dish as last night but how can you go wrong with meat and vegetables add the heat a couple spices i'm going with some chicken i got a little uh what is that baby that lettuce or cabbage yeah that's a little cabbage you know garlic onion we got some beans over there, some carrots. Yeah. And folks, once, once I get this going, I'm gonna cream it up with just a little bit of milk and some of this butter. And this is not, um, yeah, this is this is not the flavor I, I like when it comes to cooking with butter. I like going up there to Walmart and getting some butter that I'm familiar with, but it don't matter. We're gonna work with what we got. My cook station over here. She's also got some potatoes. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire it up. So hey, thanks for joining me. It's been a rainy day here at the penthouse suite here on Subic Bay in the Philippines, nestled up to these mountains, folks. But it's been a good day. Boris G's okay. He just woke up from his nap. This dude right here. I'm gonna eat them uh, crackers. But don't worry, he'll eat his meal because that boy eats everything in sight. All right, let me get set up, folks. And obviously, I will be cooking with the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. Made in the United States of America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee. Folks, you can't beat it. Cannot beat it. I gotta find the oil, cooking oil, that these ladies bought today. They hid it from me. Okay, but they got this oil. Um, I'll put the price in that previous video, but if you're new to the Philippines, you know, you go to the stores, you can buy it in these smaller things and they'll just package it in uh, upcycle, recycle, reusable. Look at that. So I'll put a little of this oil in here and we're going to get this party started like a champion. Just a little bit of oil, get it cranked off, got my spatula. Go ahead and get that party started. Let's do it. Oh shit, that wasn't hot enough. Folks, I jumped the gun on that. I thought that was hot and ready to sizzle, but I was wrong. That might stick on me a little bit. Oh, why is that pop? What the heck is going on here? Yeah. Cost of living. Like cost of living high. Folks, there's no time like the present. Just go in there with the onions, carrots. Just come on in there. Folks, I think I'm gonna have to request that the ladies put this stuff in a different dish. That's a pain in the ass to get that over there in there. Out of this Mickey Mouse plate. Tomorrow I'll have to change that up. You can go to Nor Flavor Cubes that the ladies like. I like these little cubes. One more. Now give me one more. Let's do it. Cocaine Anna. Work it, baby. Work it. Folks, nightly cooking with the old lady. We have a good time. You know what I mean? Even though she yaks me about the, uh, my cooking skills and the flavors and everything. I mean, we still have a good time, don't we, baby? Yeah? yeah. All right, yeah. let me get this going. Baby, okay, listen. Can you let me cook? No, that's already so much fire, huh? Baby, I'll decide how much heat I need on the meat. Thank you. Happening. Bitching at me because I'm putting milk in here, but I told her that's what I was making tonight. Now she wants to gripe about it. Okay, baby, we can't have Vinegar, soy sauce every night. Soy okay? sauce. Hey, hey, hey! Give me the milk. I'm not done, baby. You're done. Baby, just get, just please, just step back and let the master work his so magic. Much. Remember last night on the video, you were whining. Everybody said, "Why is she whining?" And now you're whining again tonight. Okay, all right, let me let me take over. Thank you, thank you. All right, let me get a cabbage in there. Let it cook. 
cook. That smelling some kind of delicious. My goodness. Here in Drake. <laughs> How is it, baby? Yeah? What'd you say about the sardines? We don't cook a sardines. She's cooking sardines? Why would she cook sardines when I'm cooking this beautiful chicken soup? Look at these ladies checking out my soup. Ladies, you know my soup's gonna be delicious. My goodness. Hey, buddy. Of course, you get all the ladies, my friends. Hey, sweet boy. All right, take a look at the soup. One, two, three. Oh yeah, that's gonna be delicious. Absolutely delicious. Delicious, delicious 4G. <laughs> Pandemonium here at the penthouse suite. But I'm telling you, this soup is gonna be delicious. Every time I make the creamy, it's not chicken noodles because there's no noodles in it. Uh, what we call it? Creamy chicken vegetable soup with cabbage. Folks, anytime I make that soup, it's a it's a surefire smash hit. Even though wife number one comes in and gripes and, and complains that I put brown sugar in there. But she loves it. So anyhow. Folks, thanks for joining us on tonight's video. Bottom right hand corner of your screen. Sit that overstay road sign, get on board with my channel. Food, beer, visas, bad behavior, and beautiful women. It's been raining today here at Tom's Square earlier before it started raining the, the mountain was so green just so green and lush with vegetation now they do got the barbecue grill fired up over there and you know just a hub of activity i'm glad to see the activity back people riding bicycles exercising oh that's jason is that jason uh anyhow no, i can't tell from here like i said it's good to see Good to see activity back here at Tom's Square. And there's Force G right there. Hey, buddy. You gonna eat some of Papa's soup? Yeah, I make it cold for us. Oh, it's gotta cool down. Yeah, that dude, he loves my soup. Yeah. Folks, I don't know if I talked about it on one of my videos, but one of the things that you miss about living in places like the Philippines Central America, you know, anywhere Southeast Asia, places like this, is the smell. There's always barbecue in the air. There's always the smell of campfires because a lot of people here still cook with wood. Every day they cook with wood. So you've got that combination of all those scents, you know, just wafting through the air. And when I first got back and I stepped out on the balcony, that's the first thing that I was like, ah, you know, campfire, fire. It's just that, that, that natural, uh, what do you want to call it, instinct? Not instinct, but it's just nature. You know, to smell that fire. Um, like right now, I'm smelling everything from barbecue to charcoal to, you know, wood fires smoke in the air you don't get that in the west maybe in the summer you do a little bit when your neighbor's barbecuing but in regions like this it's every day and you go to america and you don't you don't smell that so anyhow i just thought i'd share that with you um i can share all the scenery i can give you a look around but what I can't share is the smell, you know, of these folks' little barbecue grill going over there. And then over there, people got a fire going, cooking with wood. You know, same over in this direction. You got some fires going on. I can't share the smell with you until they invent the damn smell of vision But there you go. Got a look at uh, Tom's Square. I'm going here to try this soup that I just made up. I know it's going to be delicious, but I got to try it.